Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is good to see you guys as usual. So tonight, um, I just received my new Monarch vex vest um, by Hillrom. I just got it yesterday and I wanted to share with you guys some pros and cons of getting the vest and I'll show you guys literally the vest on me and show you what all I have to do for it to be comfortable on me because this vest is a one size fits all but I'll get all into that in a second. So let's go ahead and hop right into this video. All right, so um, the vest is literally 13 pounds and my doctors did not tell me that it would be so uncomfortable. It literally, like it hurts, okay? So I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like. All right, so this is my new vest. Okay, this is 13 pounds. Now, these pods right here, they go, these go on my back. There's pods on top and bottom. These pods, they go on the front. Okay, so the vet, like I said, the vest is 13 pounds. It is very, like when I first put it on, I was like, oh no. Like, I was so excited about this vest, but I was like, this is not comfortable once I got it. So I wondered about the Af Aflo vest, Aflo vest, whatever it's called. I really wondered about that because that one looks a lot more comfortable than this one. I'm really disappointed in this vest because I feel like they could have done so much better on the design um i'm not very happy with it right now but i, I mean it's gonna take some getting used to um it is so it comes with this remote on the front right this remote right here and this remote um is hooked to the vest okay and it you connect to the wi-fi and they send all your data to your CF center and they will be telling you what you need to be doing. They can tell what all you do. And I just feel like that's a little bit invade invasion of privacy in my opinion. Like I'm I'm not trying to be mean or anything. Like not trying to be mean about it at all. I'm just saying like that just makes me feel weird because like there are days where I'm just like I don't feel like doing my vest twice a day I'm just gonna do it once a day and I don't feel like getting you know I don't want to say the word kind of just like people being like getting on to me about that because I am 18 years old and I feel like I should be able to choose whatever I want to do with my body. I mean, there is an option to turn it off. Um, I guess I would just disconnect from the Wi-Fi, but I don't even know if it'll let you do that. So, I don't know. I'm just really just now getting used to this. Like, I just got it yesterday. I did it twice yesterday, and I did it, well, I'm, um, do, I did it twice today, and I'm about to do it again because my cough has been horrible. It started this morning. I woke up coughing my head off, like, coughing up so much mucus so I'm doing it again but I just wanted to show you guys this treatment what all this thing does okay so this thing it was very nice the case that it came in um it came in a um like suitcase um it rolls which is perfect for travel perfect it, it's so much smaller than having to bring a big freaking machine to go along with the vest so, th like I said, this vest is 13 pounds, the Aflo vest is 8 pounds, and it is another portable vest. I really, really wish that they would have went with that because I don't know what the deal is. Like, I'm wondering about getting that um, because I just don't know. I'm, I just, I want to say nice things about this because, yes, they're trying to make it easier for CFers, of course, and I understand that, but I... I just feel like maybe they should wear it and see how uncomfortable it is. Okay, so first I'm going to put it on and I'm going to show you what all I have to go through just to make this thing comfortable on me. So this thing is a one size fits all thing. It's a one size fits all, which is insane. I don't like how that thing is all worked out. I don't know. But I had to get a sponge and put a hole in it to go around my port, which is right here. Because, of course, it hurts so bad pushing up against that. So, I needed to make that. Alright. So, 
let's stand up and show you guys. All right. So now what I'm going to do, uh, well, before I do that, I got to put the, I'm going to put these, uh, rags. Trust me, this is very difficult. And I'm not just saying that because it pokes you in your collarbones. And I haven't seen any videos about this vest on YouTube because I looked it up. And I was like, well, hey, I need to speak on this because I'm sure there are people that are wondering if this vest is, like, comfortable or not. And if it works right. So, sorry. I'm, like, struggling here trying to get it fixed to where I can even... It's never going to be comfortable on me, but I, it has to be to where it's not hurting me. Because it, it can be uncomfortable, but when it's literally hurting me, I just can't do it. So, alright. So, I put, I have everything where I, I need it to be. So, then you got to zip it up. Alright, so I'm all zipped up. Okay, then we grab these, pull them up, and put them like that. Pull up go like that and it stays like that okay now you have to keep pulling this up because if you don't it's gonna start stabbing you in the lower back which it does that to me because I'm a small person <coughs> it does that to me because I'm a smaller person but it just it definitely should have been invented a lot more different because I really like to be curious. Like, I mean, I'm really curious of what the Aflo vest is like if it's this uncomfortable. Because the, this, I know what's uncomfortable. It's the pods. They're so heavy. The battery in the back is so heavy. Do you see this? I look like I'm wearing a turtle shell. Like, this is insane. I'm, like, so small. And this is just not for me. Like, this is not my size. It's just one size fits all. That's insane. This does not fit me the right way. But I'm going to show you how this works. So, first, which this is something that I very much like about this. It comes with a remote, so you don't have to drag that huge machine with you. So, when you're done using the remote, you put it right back here. And just let it sit there which is awesome and it also has a button right here where you can pause and play when um, you are like if you need a break or something and you can turn off one of the pods if one area is hurting you like your poor area I keep my poor area off just because this is insane if you could feel how hard this is it do you hear that that's as hard as a rock like it feels like a big giant speaker is like hitting against my chest there's no padding no padding it's just hitting you this hard thing right here is hitting you and hitting me where my pore is which does not feel good at all all right so let's grab this remote turn it on, on you have to hold down the power button Okay, and then it'll vibrate just a tiny bit when it's on. That's when you know it's on. This is what it looks like. I turned my letters pink just because I like the design on it, and I want it to be pink like the design. All right, so I'm going to go down to Therapy 2, which is what I do. I go 11, 12, 13, 14. That is my routine right now, and I do 24 or 26 minutes of it. And then with therapy one, I do, um, it's the Minnesota protocol or Cincinnati protocol, whatever, whatever the hell they call it. I don't know. It's so annoying and stupid. I hate it. I hate that protocol so much. It's where you have to go up to freaking 1920. Heck no. I hate doing that. Oh gosh. I hate doing it. It's so rough. It just hurts. All right. So I'm going to go down to therapy two. I'll show you a little bit. All right, now we're on the therapy, and it's all ready to go, and we just press um, start, so we go in the middle button, press start, and then it's going to start vibrating, so it is going, it is vibrating, so I'm sure you've heard, so I'm going to, as you see, set this remote right here, it doesn't bother me at all, I love the part with the remote, I think that's awesome. I do feel a little bit more comfortable now that I put the 
um, washcloths under my shoulders because it was holding my sh hurting my shoulders very bad and it was hurting my poor area very bad so that's why I just cut a hole in that sponge and it helped um, so it wouldn't hit the port side um, so it will slide down to your back and stab you in your shoulder blades and stab you in your lower back. So when it does that, you literally have to lift it up and pull it over so it's not doing that. So another thing about this vest, it is a lot more intense than a normal vest. And I think that's another reason why it's so uncomfortable is because it is... Um, it is so intense and I mean that's good that it's more intense it's getting more of the mucus out of your lungs it's gonna help you out you know but the thing is I just wish they would have made it more comfortable like the patient's comfortableness comfiness whatever what's the word I don't know but th that matters like we should be able to be comfy you know and my old vest was so much more comfier than this like ugh. But my old vest, I've had it for like 13 years. So it's old. This is brand spanking new. Just got it yesterday. Just took it out of the new box yesterday. Um, like I said, the stuff it comes with, the new suitcase, all of that good stuff it comes with. It comes with all the information you need, all the numbers you need to call if you're having issues, all of that. Um, it um, on my prescription that they put in for my vest treatment, um, it stops every six minutes to see if I need to cough or not, do a huff cough or not, but yeah, um, I just figured I would make this video because I know I'm sure that there is a lot of people out there wondering, should I get a monarch, monarch vest? Should I ask for it? My insurance covered it, and hold on, I'm going to show you. So see, I just paused it. That is one of the pause buttons. You can also pause through the remote. But I love to press this little button because it's just so easy. You just hit it and you're done. Um, but uh, what are my opinions on it? I think that they should have made it way more comfortable for people because this is just not okay. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be mean. But I just feel like it should be a lot more comfortable and right now, it's not at all. So I'm gonna look into the Aflo vest. I'm gonna ask my respiratory um, team about about this because I'm just gonna tell them this is very uncomfortable on me because it is like it literally is hurting my back. My back is sore from doing this. So I just hope that I can break into new, this new vest and that I can get used to it. Or I'm just going to have to go back to my old one. I don't know. But yes, this is the new Monarch vest. Um, this is my opinions on it. The pros, the cons, all of that. So I figured you guys would definitely want to know that if you are looking into getting one. And if you are, I would definitely probably have to re recommend the Aflo vest. Just because from what I've seen, it is very comfortable. Everyone has says that it is super comfortable. And I have not seen any videos about this vest nobody says it's comfortable like nothing and all the best like all the positive things about this vest is from the company that makes it on YouTube so you know like it's just it's the truth I'm telling the truth it's not comfortable I don't really like it so there is my opinion all right so i will see you guys in my next video if you like this video give it a thumbs up and um subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i love you guys and i will see you in my next video